fish that are put directly in the river on a year like this year in the drought, if there's no rain and the water temperatures are high, flows are low, the survival is going to be so low that it's really not worth it to do it. This is a really unique project and it's what we have to do when we have three years of drought. You have to remember we've dammed all the major rivers in California, limited 90% of what would be natural habitat for spawning. So that's why we have these hatcheries and now it's our job to make sure these hatcheries can fulfill their promise. Trucking of juvenile salmon from their natal rivers down past all the dangers that exist in the delta such as export pumping, predators, warm water, and things that could prevent them from making it to the ocean. So that's the basic premise behind trucking is to bypass those hazards. The fish are loaded into the truck at the hatchery, and in order to make it a smooth ride for the fish, the water is kept really cold, so they, they ice down the trucks and it slows down the fish's metabolism. Today, the estimates were about 110 to 125,000 fish per truck. Generally, they are disoriented when they are trucked, when they leave the pipe from the truck and they enter the water. So by being in the net pens, we're protecting them from predation. By holding them in our net pens, they get a chance to behave like fish normally do. Schooling behavior occurs, they get used to the new conditions, and then after a couple hours, we release them into the water on the outgoing tide so that they can finish their journey out to the San Francisco Bay out the Golden Gate. These operations are going on in all the major fish hatcheries in the Central Valley right now. We're talking, you know, plus or minus four months of very intensive efforts. When we're done this year, do about 29 million salmon smolts will have been trucked and, and put into the net pens. Um, the survival rate for salmon smolts that are put into net pens is about four times higher than those that would have been just dumped into the bay. They'll go out into the ocean, they'll follow the currents, they'll hopefully follow the food. We have good upwelling this year, so their growth rate increases dramatically once they hit the ocean. They'll stay out there for two to three years, and then they'll find their way back to the Central Valley Rivers, and they'll come back up and they'll spawn. Hopefully these fish that we release today will have a chance to contribute to both the commercial and the sport fishing industries in California.